back is Hop, Hop's Mail Show. String. Um, we got a little, the warning. We're gonna, we're gonna warn you. Inner Sandman, live from the Pepsi Center, CDMX. Is this from the MTV Awards? I don't, I don't from know. From MTV was recorded. I think they MTV. had an event, a music awards, but I don't know if, I think this is something that was separate. I think they did a whole show. I don't, that's what I'm thinking. All right. I'm sure. Yeah, you guys will let yeah, us know. Yeah, y'all never let us down. Because <clears throat> I think they've comes. released a boy. I've seen a bunch of snippets of different things, and it was all from this, I believe. So. Now, did you get to see them at the red carpet yet? On the red carpet. Uh, from the newest. I guess it's from when the they're MTV in the, the, the red outfits. Yeah, I've seen pictures because I've got them. But well, I've got them, and then I've got uh, Pow and. I've got um, other various groups, the, the warning groups from around the world that I got like on Instagram. So I see a lot of the pictures and stuff, but very every once in a while I'll see stuff pop up on. Uh, yeah, their outfits were neat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think uh, Powell had those, look like she had these big long uh, braid extension like things in her hair too. Yeah, they, um, yeah, they, they dressed up quite well for mm -hmm. the award show, which oh, yeah. I don't know. Was was they nominated or was they just playing? I, I don't think really they, know. Yeah, I want to say they got nominated for something. I don't know. I guess somebody out there. Somebody, I'm not sure somebody will let us know because yeah. I'm not yeah. for sure. I just yeah. know they played on there and I yeah. seen their outfits on the red carpet. But yeah, I know they were going, which I would think they were. Pro, they might have been nominated. Snippet. Yeah, I don't know. I just seen a snippet on a red carpet. It wasn't even really that long yeah. that he, for me to even remember what they talked about or anything like that. Yeah, like I said, I just know I just saw the outfits at the head. It was a bunch of pictures and stuff that I've seen people, them and other people posting of them there. And this is what we was talking about in the previous video. This come up, mm -hmm. and I didn't even bother going to watch it because oh, I, yeah, yeah. I knew we would want to watch it down here. Yeah. I knew everybody here would want to watch it. So one thing I think I've watched is uh, a couple snippets of uh, Pal where she was playing on the piano, and uh, there's like two different ones. One she was singing, and she could barely sing it because the crowd was being so loud singing it, and she was crying, and <laughs> she was she was definitely uh, just excited with, or just crying bad. with excitement. You know, yeah. it wasn't like a, she was upset or anything. But she was just so happy that she was crying and. And then there was another one I saw where she was playing the drums, and it was like the crowd was singing really loud, and yeah. it was pretty cool there too. So, well, it's always cool when you get, when you get to see that. When especially it's a, it's a big crowd, I can't oh, yeah. I can't imagine how the musicians feel because mm -hmm. I think just to watch it live, I just think it's awesome myself. Yeah. And I'm not sure if it was from this show or if it was from another show, but I just I just like I said, I just know they had posted those or Pal had posted some stuff on her Instagram, and so that was pretty cool. Uh, you want to go ahead and let's roll fist. Let's do it. I'm excited. Is, yeah, me we too. haven't heard uh, them do. I've just heard other than the show. I think the last time we saw them, I think that's the last time I've heard him do anything for this song. Yeah, well, other I'd than heard, like the old one when they were little. Yeah, well, I'd heard, I'd heard the remix younger. on that. The what? The Metallica. Re the Metallica album's got. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So they're probably yeah. gonna play it kind of like that. I think. Yeah. I forgot about that one on there. Are you ready? Yep. Adjusted. <laughs>
Yeah, that was really good. I thought that uh, that Dana, kicked ass. That was. I yeah, wanted to see something there. Kick ass. It's still worth. I don't even know if that even yeah. gives it justice. Okay. Cause it, I thought it said 2022 down there at the bottom. There it says 2025. Well, right? that's for the Mexico tour. Oh. Guatemala or Guadalajara, Mon Monterey, or something future, but. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't make it. It was like itty bitty tiny little. But uh, yeah, that kicked ass. I like the the whole orchestra. Kind of gave it a whole new level. Kind of like when Metallica's yeah. done it, but or but many other bands have done that kind of thing. But uh, even yeah, for them, it, it, it like put it all to another level. Yeah, it's really some of that stuff really sounds good orchestrated. Mm -hmm. And then some of it's too much orchestra to yeah. it. Like it's overdone, but. I don't know. This, this, I think. Yeah, they had, I think that was executed well very well. Yeah. yeah, executed. That's a good word. Um, <clears throat> yes, was that Lizzie's guitar? I was wondering. I'm thinking that that was the one that she gave her. That's what I was uh, thinking. Because I was because Lizzie plays the Explorers, don't she? Yeah. I was thinking that was the one that she gave her, but I was thinking it was yellow, but it looked white there. No, it's pretty. One I've always seen her play is white. All right, well, anyway, that's why I was I, that was more likely. The same. Yeah, that's what I figured. And the bass player, hell, the bass player is the tallest one out of all of them now, and she was mm -hmm. a little itty bitty thing. Yeah, when she was. We first started watching them. Yeah, she's. Well, I think she wears heels too, so or like taller shoes. So I think she, she gains an inch or two there. But, uh, but yeah, she, uh, she's definitely grown up over the yeah. <laughs> last couple of years. Yeah. And so I think they're all. Let's well, see, they're all. I think she's not twenty one yet. I think she was like twenty. I can't even believe I can't remember. I just now. saw a video with them, and they were they were talking about that, and they were doing like random questions, like they yeah. would pick up a question, and they was asking each other, and I think somebody had asked them how old they were, and I can't remember. That. I was thinking she said she was twenty. I always, I like, I know when we do the interviews, I always like to <clears throat> ask the random questions because mm -hmm. they it seems like everybody enjoys it. Plus, it's not. It's something different yeah. that you're learning about them yeah, that yeah. nobody else is asking. Yeah. Well, that's why this was. It was like just the three girls standing around or sitting around a table, and they had some questions in a pile, and like each, oh, well, that's each cool. of them would grab one, and then it is they cool. had to ask one or the other whatever the question was, <laughs> and so they had to answer. That was pretty cool. But, yeah, and uh, it's just it's <clears> unreal to watch. Their growth's just been, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, you know, Bandmate and some of them other bands just watching their growth's just, it's been cool. Mm -hmm. Well, and just, I mean, look when we saw them, what was that, two years ago now, I think yeah. it was, and, uh, and we saw them in a little venue, and that's probably not going to happen again. I mean, oh, yeah. when they come back around, it's, they're going to be playing, opening more than likely for somebody and playing on a bigger stage and bit, way bigger crowds and uh, but I think it's awesome. I mean, they definitely yeah. deserve it. They've, they've uh, definitely. Uh, it's cool to watch because, you know, if you look at the whole big spectrum, we've watched, you know, because I don't know about you, but I'm, you know, I'm early 50s. So mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of bands grow. And I always, you know, say Metallic was probably the most awesome when I watched mm -hmm. grow because mm -hmm. we watched them the whole time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just to see bands you know, explode onto the scene, you know, that, and to, now what's freaking me out is like, I was telling my wife today, telling Heather that, you know, like Creed and Limp Biscuit, mm -hmm. how all this shit's coming back full circle. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it completely went away, both mm -hmm. in bands, and now they're huge. Well, and then now there's a, like a new wave of, uh, like the Limp Biscuit, the, the whole, yeah. Uh, that new metal yeah, scene. Yeah, that new metal, new metal sound. There's like a whole new wave of bands in, in that genre. And, I, mean, I mean, it's just like all the other stuff. I mean, you got the old school, like heavy metal. You got all that wave of those new bands yeah. coming around, the younger kids. And um, so it's it's cool to see. I mean, well, and you figure it's like the generation behind us there. Now they're experiencing what we got to experience so many years ago. Mm -hmm. Their kids are getting older and they mm -hmm. can get out and do stuff that they've mm -hmm. done before. And, you know, that's why Creed and all this stuff's going over so good. Yeah, yeah. But it just shows we're getting older, too. Basically. Yeah, 
I was going to say, well, we're still out doing it, so or we're still getting out there and, and it's, going and, to shows. And, and I guess what it all goes back to is it's just like we're watching these. This is the generation now mm-hmm. doing that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, where's it going to stop? You just oh, yeah. It's fun to watch mm-hmm. because it's just going and going and going. It's like just involving getting bigger and better and more people are listening. Oh, yeah. and, oh I mean, like I said, I mean, just seeing where we saw them two years ago and where they are now. In the, in the crowds that they're playing for now, it's crazy. Well, and having mean, rotation on Octane mm-hmm. and stuff like well, that. Well, playing overseas, and, and I don't know the, how much they went over there before, but, I mean, I know they went around Mexico and came around the United States a couple times, but then, you know, now they're going overseas and playing a lot of stuff over there and then playing with Bandmade and, and all that stuff. So Yeah, you know, even doing the U.S. Whole, with Liz Hale. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty impressive there, too. <clears> so. Yeah. Just, just everything. It's been neat to watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've definitely deserved it. So. Yeah. Well, you want to roll one out here? Yeah, let's move on to the next one. Till next time, see y'all. Y'all stay safe, stay strong. Peace.